ever felt your cell phone was invading your privacy? Like this one time I got out of the shower and then there was my cell phone just sitting on the counter staring. Hey, it's Courtney from New Media Rights. We're going to talk generally about how some apps create privacy problems. Other videos will discuss specific applications, and other other videos will discuss steps you can take to safeguard your information. You ready to be creeped out a little? Good. For starters, many apps don't really tell consumers how the information they access, like location, will be collected and used. And they don't often tell you who the information is shared with. Some apps have privacy policies. Privacy policies are those long legal documents that you find on some websites that say what your data will and won't be used for. But have you ever tried to read one of those on a smartphone? It's tiny, cryptic text on a very small screen. Also, some of the apps that do have written privacy policies don't actually follow to those policies at all. Moving on. When you install an application, your device will usually bring you to a screen that explains basically what parts of your phone and data the app wants to access. The problem is that application permissions are pretty much all or nothing. So if you don't want to give the app the information at once, you might not be able to use it at all. Developers and phone OS manufacturers should give people more options when it comes to choosing what apps do and don't have access to. Then there's the location information itself. If you take a person's location history over a certain amount of time, you can start to see patterns and figure out where this person works, where she lives, where she goes grocery shopping, and so on. Enough of that information and you can figure out who that person is. When that information can be linked to specific information, like the serial number of your device, then that info can be directly linked back to you. So, at this point, developers and providers need to make sure that consumers like you can opt out of sending out certain data. Consumers also need to know what data is being shared and who it's being shared with. Lastly, developers need to be pressured into making data transfers as secure as possible. Want to know more? Well, the information we're using in these videos comes from testimony by Ashkan Sultani and was presented to the U.S. Senate in a hearing called your smartphones, tablets, cell phones, and your privacy. You should also keep watching these videos. Do I have a promise that I'm gonna see you next time? You know you really enjoyed this video, and you know you're a lot smarter now, so you should click on the next video. You <laughs> just start to smell like this. Okay. We're, we're gonna. Okay, I need to get my hands away from it.